Welcome to episode 14, today's game day, but as you can see, I'm just a little bit different with clean sheet stuff. That's because I have to go coach before the game, and I think I'm going to be running a little late for the game, but hopefully I'm there on time just to give the water bottles to the players and the fruits. But yeah, you'll see me coach, and I'll see you at the game. <laughs> coaching the goalie through because he didn't understand how to do it and now because he really didn't understand I'm doing an example again and something that I learned as I coached is there's no point of punishing them if they don't understand it's just show them one more time and show them one more time and just try to have more patience with them obviously sometimes I do lose my patience but I really do my best to not see now I lined them up to do core work and this is not to punish them but to actually work on the core and here you really see who came to practice to improve themselves 
people who came to practice just to waste their time because they have too much time in their hands. And the ones that are really there to improve themselves, man, I just love watching it because they really push themselves to the end. Ça fait en décembre. This is our starting 11 against St. Hubert. And there's Yandere's face right there. But I was in a rush to the field, so I couldn't film anything in between. And I was in a rush because I had the water bottles and I didn't want the guys to warm up without them, although they did. But I got there just in the nick of time. Also, I will be commenting on two plays. It has nothing to do with the goals, just because the goals that we scored are just amazing goals, to be honest. But the two plays, in my opinion, it low-key ruined the game. I'm commenting on this play because it's a little controversial. Anyway, Loic wins the ball and gives it to Yan in the space. And then the defender on Yan is pulling on him, so obviously the ref blows the whistle. But then he pulls out a red card. I don't know about you, but there was two defenders in between him, so it could have been minimal yellow. Anyway, replay. As you can see, really two defenders in between, so like, even if he wasn't a breakaway, the other one was right there to cover. But I feel like this ruined the game a bit, just like the intensity. And I'm saying this because I don't really have a bias, and I think it's true. This is my last comment for the game. Anyway, Arlan gets the ball here and he gets ran through by a freaking train. That was so unnecessary from the player and he didn't even really get the ball. He just ran through Arlan. Like, are you serious? Like, he got injured and something that I really like about our team and especially Jan is we protect our teammates. And right there, Jan goes up to him and says, like, yo, what's your problem? And he loses his head. He pushes one of our players and then he gets a red card. Thankfully, we didn't get anything, but it just sucks to see that one of our players gets injured after the game. And obviously this is 3-0, so what's the point of, you know, tackling like that? 
but yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget the like button if you're new subscribe i'll see you in the next one peace